All right, Mr. Nix, can I get your name and date of birth? Jacob Nix, January 9th, 1996. You're here in a Superior Court new case. You're charged with one count of criminal trespass in the first degree residential structure, a Class 6 felony, one count of criminal trespass in the first degree residential yard, a Class 1 misdemeanor. In this matter, um, you are not indigent. I know that you did not want to provide financial information, um, and there was a note indicating that you were going to hire your own counsel. Yes. So I'm indicating that you're not indigent at this time. We have a status conference on October 21st at 8.30 in the morning, a preliminary hearing on October 24th at 8.45 in the Superior Court of Phoenix. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, are you from here, or do you... From California, but... So I was planning on going home on the 15th, but if I need to stay longer than... I can stay longer to be okay. here for that. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with your co-defendant. I can move your court dates up if I give you a bond. Okay. okay. And so I am going to give you a bond because you do live out of state. I'm going to give you a $100 secured appearance bond in this matter. You're not to return to the scene of the crime, no contact with any victim, no physical contact with any victim. Oh, so let me give you your new court dates. Your court dates in this matter will be on October 14th at 8.30 in the morning and October 16th at 8.45. So a status conference is on October 14th at 8.30 and a preliminary hearing on October 16th at 8.45. And in this matter, you will have a $100 secured appearance bond. You're not to return to the scene of the crime, no contact with any victim, no physical contact with any victim, no contact with any complainant or witness, no contact with arresting officers, no contact with your co-defendant. No drugs without a valid prescription, no possessing or consuming any alcohol, no driving a motor vehicle without a valid license. You must continue to provide the court proof of your local address. Do you understand, sir? Yes. yes so make sure you, let me also put on here that you may travel outside of Arizona. Um, so it's California? Yes. And are you going to, so the, this would permit you to leave um, before your court date, but you would have to come back, or if you want to stay here. Yeah, I'll stay. Okay, I'll so be you'll here. stay. But I'm going to allow you to, okay. So you can, once um, you go and have your first court date, you can talk to the judge there about your other travel arrangements, okay? okay? Good luck to you, sir. Thank you.